I woke up at like 5, 4 p.m. as you do on days when it's a work day and like should be awake during the business day. Oh well. Uh, and first activity of the day was Skyping with website design clients. Uh, second activity of the day was eating breakfast and watching Casey's vlog from the Oscars. And third activity was watching the 360 vlog with mom with the spinning around and the iPad. It was so cool. Fourth activity is going to be caucusing because it's Super Tuesday. Uh, wow, my hair looks weird. Yeah, so that's something that neither my mom or I have done. So this will be another mom video and it will involve politics. What could go wrong? I just want to clarify, mom is actually very cool. That's not what I was referring to by saying what could go wrong. It's just a politics. Politics in general are an issue. Ooh, there's a fly. I could have just taken care of the fly, but why do that when you could also record it? Oh, hell yeah. He dead. Goodbye, little buddy. Mom just said, you do not know how to use a flash swatter. Where did I fail you? I just watched the clip back. That was hilarious. And no, I didn't put that sound effect in. It was that perfect. That like fly swatting sound effect. It actually sounded like that in real life. I'm stoked. All right, I'm gonna... Wow, that feels better. All right, caucus time. Well, this is weird. This is where I would have gone to high school had I gone to high school literally right down the street from my house. But I didn't. Yeah. time would, would come together and that That's is right. dead and gone. And no, but what I'm talking about is an individual who would spend off time. I mean, they go, they've gone and spent vacations, vacation. not Well, you know trip. what? I'm married to a diehard Republican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we agree to disagree, yeah, but he's a right. fan. Absolutely. And he's, he's not a war person. person. Well, I mean, you know, okay, uh, you know, I'm not going to debate who's a war criminal and who's not a war criminal, but Henry Kissinger's in his 80s now. That was a bygone time. Um, and you're not at all concerned about I want I want a country. Democrat following Obama. Oh, so and I believe that Hillary is the best chance to make that happen. Has anyone else looked at all the polls of the pollsters? It, it's so, yeah. I agree with you that there are things about Hillary that I don't like. Sure. There are things about Bernie I don't like. I agree with this, this gentleman that our taxes will go up. We're going to become a socialistic country. We're going to. I, I, I think so. I mean, I can't prove that, but that's my that's my gut feeling that he's going to. The things he wants to do are going to increase taxes. He wants to do free education at the college level. I believe that you don't value something that you work for you just hand it to you, you don't appreciate it. We need to put our emphasis in the STEM area. We need, we're falling so hard. I mean, I couldn't get my public sector staff to work on it. I just think that at this time in our history, so many of the issues are global. Mm -hmm. and, and coming into the future, we're going to be confronted with a Russia that's stronger, a Syria that's we really need a leader that can face the world with strength um, and kind of lead the world. That's what I'm looking for. I, I'm from Boston. I love Bernie Sanders. I think he's a wonderful person. I think he's someone that I would love to get to know. But do, do I think that if he's standing on a podium beside Putin, that Putin is going to respect him? I don't think so. Like, we need someone who's a little bit tougher than Obama and someone who can kind of show the world that we need business. And I think that Hillary is the person for that. And so that's why I'm super supporting Hillary. I think there's a bigger problem with, like, even if I, a lot of us probably would support maybe where he wants to go, but given where Congress is, I, I believe that he would have no chance of even being able to pull it through. I mean, if you, if you think that the obstruction of Obama is bad, it would be tenfold. But don't you think that that's a lot of, of racism also? I mean, I think well, that a I, white man who may be I, working with uh, I, he works both sides of the aisle in several cities. I don't think so. You don't think so, really? I don't think so. Let me go here. I'm thrilled that Senator Sanders' message has inspired.
just show up in stadiums, but actually show up to vote. So far, the results are kind of mixed about that. But the fact is, if we don't get enthusiasm on our side of the Democrats and unity at the convention, we're going to get beaten by anybody, no matter what warts they may have on the other side. There's no way that he can win in the presidential election. The polls are as meaningless right now as the polls a year ago that said Hillary was going to run the table with 100%. It doesn't matter. He has not been subjected to any of the attack ads from the Republicans in the way that Hillary has been subjected to attack ads and other attacks for close to 30 years. She is the candidate who can win. She is the candidate who espouses most of the same ideals that Senator Sanders does, but partly from the experience of being dragged through the pro uh, process of trying to get health care at the beginning of the Clinton administrations, she learned that you can only do certain things. You still have the goal. She still wants universal health care, but she knows that at this moment, you can't just promise people we're going to have this because it's unrealistic. She can't deliver. He can't deliver. She can win. And I hope that if she, in fact, wins the nomination, that you will support her. Oh, God, yeah. There's no question that you, you guys said. I agree with most of what you're saying. It was an avid supporter for her. I was arguing with all these other people who, you know, appealed to her. And I was like, no, 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 no. What worried me is her character when she stood up for him. It really did make me go, whoa, she is not the person I thought she was. I mean, I know she had faults. Well, wait a second. I, we hold, all hold know on. I, I don't know if I want to give you a back here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I've gone back and forth between this woman for quite a while. And I'm not sure totally. But um, I respect Sanders a lot for even being able to say the word socialism in this country and to get support. I think that opened the door, and I'm really thrilled about that. I think that I didn't know that Hillary was such a close friend to Susan B. Anderson. That's very interesting to me. But I do think there's kind of a club that once you've done that job, that you're, it's like the presidents who are bitter enemies, and then once you've been a president, then they become friends. I think that's kind of, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably what's going on, that they've both done that job. They both know things that other people don't know and haven't experienced, and that brings them closer together. And so I kind of understand that friendship. It doesn't scare me. I don't think she likes him at all. And don't worry about that. I just don't think that. I thought she wanted to win. And I think we need to be careful about just saying she can win. Because that irritates me about the Republicans. Is that we'll support crap if they can win. I think we have to be careful we don't do the same thing. That we either feel strongly for her or we don't. But I, I don't want to vote for someone because they can win. I want to vote for him because I think they'll be the best president. I like, I, I don't. Yeah. I, and, I, and I think too that she's, she's never taken, she's not taken anything for granted. And she's worked her butt off. And I really, really, really want a woman president. You know what? I do too, but I mean, that's she's not really the, the only reason, but it's her time and it, she is it, the it one. It's time. And she's qualified. And she and was a pioneer with health care. I mean, she was out there before anybody was. For well, and let's care. let's not do what the Republicans have done. I mean, we are Democrats for all the same reasons, and I don't disagree with most of what Bernie Sanders says. Um, I ran into a longtime friend at the front door with his Bernie sticker, and he said, "If Hillary's the nominee, he's going to go third party." Well, can we just all say in this room we would never do that? We are Democrats, right? So let's. You know, we'll, we'll find out what impact Precinct 314 had, and we'll find out who our nominee is, but we're Democrats. And, you know, since uh, yeah. Eliza, I didn't think that, that you, you should, should say anything, but when she said something, you know, it made me think of Yeah, <laughs> So, uh, this is absolutely right. You know, it's, it's not, uh, it, it's, it's just because, you know, we know who's likely behind Hillary Clinton. And, you know, this country is, Take a look. 
that we are harder on her than we are on a man. And I, I don't mean to I think I think she has taken things that other male candidates would not have had to go through. And so um, she's been scrutinized more. Um, it, and, and it's, you know, it's expected. I mean, just like Obama has faced all of these, you know, obstacles because of his race, um, she will face them because of her sex. And um, we have to be more to support her. Absolutely. And it is time, and she is the most qualified candidate on any side of the aisle. Yes, ma'am. I'm concerned about the rules and time. Yeah. Yeah, so. It's right here. Okay, we're gonna go listen to the people talk about voting for Trump because I want to meet these people. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, oh, it'd be really interesting to see the exact same. Also, people who live in Monument, Colorado, aren't they sweet? What a strange <laughs> group of people. I'm, it's just wild. It's just. This whole process is really, really interesting. Is this not totally fascinating for you? Oh, yeah. 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 I'm sorry, this video is super long, but like, interesting, right? You uh, leave the country. Your rights will be gone. This is a very different conversation. Will see this country change direction? I think at the end of the day, whoever is this nomination, we can't let Hillary Clinton occupy the White House. There are a ton more people in the Republican precinct that did not expect that. It's like a huge, it's like five times as many people. For which you. Thanks for being here tonight. You could be home sitting and watching the returns come in on, uh, from other states on your TV, but you're here. I appreciate you being here. ability of every parent to direct the education upbringing of their children. In order to do that, they need to have freedom being driven from the fifth. Hey, look, it's a state down. representative. We've made progress, and I am a recognized leader in that fight, and it's a fight I will not give up for. Leaving a digital footprint, a digital trail, something that defines who they are as they move to the left. Here's who may see it, under what circumstances, here's how it must be handled, and here's when it should be disposed of. Them, but if you can beforehand, they're going to have a lot of bios setting out. It's important to read if you have that opportunity. And then put in just based on name recognition. But it's good to know the people. Know who they are, what they will do. And we're in school. We're collecting an increasing amount of data on those students. And a liberal from a Democrat district have joined together to say, let's do something about this crisis. Well, my phone is about to die. I'm at 1%. But that was an experience that I'm glad I had. Wow. Seeing issues that you hear so much about on a national level play out in your hometown, totally different. Also, did you notice how white Monument Colorado is? Very white.